Brownridge turns it over. Stolen by Isaac Bonga with a lot of NBA experience. He has the first basket, Bonga. 14-1 in that portion of the season, 9-4 in the regular season, but the Raptors 9-0-5 on offense. They have the top record in the East at 12-4. There's a three for Aaron Best. With his third rebound of the game. But the Bluecoats beat Fort Wayne 134-121 on Thursday. There's a three for Champagny. Mostly been with the Philadelphia 76ers. They're playing Cleveland tonight. And no Paul Reed, who we've often seen in the starting lineup mm -hmm. down here. Johnson lays it home. Weird to say this about the MVP of the Showcase Cup, but sort of a glue guy and in a lot of areas, and they missed him for a stretch of games. The high floater goes through for best. Good hands from Pons. Cumberland, like a fullback, lost it. Smith ends up with it from Best. NBA All-Stars, albeit on different teams, because Kevin Durant didn't want to snag Harden in the, in the draft for whatever reason. Jody Meeks rattles home the triple. Stood out to you, was it the six offensive rebounds for the Raptors 905 or something else? Well, the six offensive, four of them came on one possession, so that didn't bother me as much. Two plays already in this one have affected Sixers players. Jaden Springer is riding a stationary bike as Tyree hits the three. That was David Johnson launching it. Harrison transition. Thought he was fouled. Yeah, I think Bonga got a piece of that. Johnson again. My concern would be, given the defense that we have, you know, these guys slowed it down for Delaware at their offensive end, and now they're getting out on breaks. Harrison on the run. Highsmith coming in strong. It rolls to Key. Nice behind the back move. Isaac Bonga, Isaac Bonga, excuse me, has been everywhere. Braxton Key with the right hand hammer. And you'll see here's the here's the hammer from Braxton. Powell around Champagny. Underneath for Harrison, plus the foul. Just uh, where there were more blue jerseys in transition than there were white shirts getting back. Best not to be outdone. He's in double figures himself with 10. And the crazy part about Best, two for two from three when he came in shooting 27% from behind the arc. Gets over the head of Key. Hagen throws it down. Eight to shoot now, seven for Shamari Pons. Bounces it to Aaron Henry, three on the shot clock. Out to Pons, buries it. Wow. To Aaron Best. Seven point lead for the Raptors, 9.05, three to play in the first half. Aaron Best, strong take. I mean, I don't know what we'll see on March 10th, but somewhere down the road, we're gonna get to see what these two products did. Late shot clock, Jaden Springer back in and on the score sheet. Concerns me a little bit is Braxton Key with three. And then the reason I say it, Matt, is there's not a lot of size on Delaware's bench right now. One that concerns the 905 as Brownridge tees up a three and hits. I was going to say Josh Hall on the other side had four personal fouls off the 905 bench in the first half. Hagen's three ball in just eight minutes in the first half. Henry. Has eight on the clock and banks it home. Well, I can tell you that both teams are have not shot the ball well in the second half. Champagny right on cue. Brownridge over to Key. Around Champagny, rises up. Joyce. He has poise, but Bunga was there. Under two minutes, normal free throw rules will apply. Two minutes in regulation, plus any potential overtimes. Brownridge connects from deep. With his shooting. A couple makes from beyond the arc in the second half for Brownridge. There's a three for David Johnson. We're going to miss our friend Andre Drummond here. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Andre Drummond has been to three Blue Coats games this year. Powell back in and back on the board. So Hagens is now up to double digits as well. He has 12, Best has 16. And Harrison has 18 plus a free throw. The Raptors 905, 12 and four. The Blue Coats nine and four, winners of four straight. Meeks banks the triple in with a smile. <laughs> Collected by Meeks. 
Now Tyree with some burst. To the cup, Bree and Tyree. Best has his third three of the game. Shot clock now at six. Cumberland's drive, powers at home. Meeks ends up with Hall. Bree and Tyree working on Haywood Highsmith. Finds a cutting Hall, met at the rim by Braxton Key. Braxton Key entered tonight's game sixth in the G League at 1.6 blocks per game. Pons. Jody Meeks turnover. And again, you always say when you leave your feet, you leave yourself with no option. Aaron Henry picks up his dribble with eight on the shot clock. Ooh. Now it's down to five. Steal. Hagens. Did he dribble it on the half court line? He did not. Lays it off for Bonga. Eight boards and four assists. It means you're getting it every night. Brown Ridge. Highsmith offensive rebound just in. Harrison, who has three threes. His miss put back by Braxton Key. Let's take a peek. And this is, again, the offensive rebound by Braxton. He's got 11 now, Aaron Henry. Perhaps none bigger than that one. Harrison Steele. Both teams shooting 41% overall. Look at the hustle from Harrison. And how about how the Blue Coats have just forced turnovers? Best at the end of the shot clock. Great hustle play by Cumberland with poise as well. Cumberland on the feed from Highsmith. Stays with it. Out to Harrison for three. Buckets. Hagen's now with a 17.10 assist double double as the clock hits zeros in the final score. The Raptors 905, 109, and the Delaware Bluecoats 104.